Hi, have you ever heard an album that you're just like, wow, why, why haven't I heard this before? Or why haven't I heard this sooner? Why is no one talking about this? You know, you just play your PlayStation one day and then your Apple Music or Spotify is just running through the background and then you and then you come across that one song and, and then you decide to listen to the whole discography? Well, The Children of Zeus is just like this. The Children of Zeus 2, Hip Hop and Soul duo, Tyler Daly and Connie Con, all the way from, from, from Manchester. And... I discovered them through a tweet that was made by none other than the legendary DJ, DJ Jesse Jeff. And when Jesse Jeff says that, wow, I've been, um, how did I miss this album? How did I sleep on this album? If he says something like that, we've all missed it and we've all slept on this album. And that's the truth here. Because from there, I started following these guys a lot more and more. I discovered their first uh, solo album, which was The Story So Far. Listen to that, I was blown away. And then when they were releasing The Travel Light, they tweeted saying that this is their debut album. And I was there confused, like, wait, what did I just listen to? Well, was that a mixtape? Like, they can't have just released this by accident, surely. So what I decided to do was to bring them all together and I realized that the story so far was the prelude to Travel Light, if that makes sense. Like Travel Light provided context to the prelude and you would understand the story so far more with Travel Light. So when I understood this, I was like, these guys are geniuses. Let me break that down. I believe that they're underrated because of the fact that the world is going is going through a syndrome that I like to call the blind leading the blind syndrome. Whereas the people that are in positions to to really push an artist to the to the level that they need to be those people right now they are listening to the same exact devices that the masses used to judge their artists which is views cloud numbers uh number of followers all those things they're using the same device to find artists to like if it's not hot it's not worth looking at so if you're not popping on the social media if you're not popping on on the vines or whatever if you if you don't have a cool dance you're not getting discovered that's basically it so this is really affecting new talent from emerging and because of this theory like you know the blind lead in the blind it leaves artists like the children of zeus it leaves you to look extra hard for artists like this and they might remain obscure forever i really don't think so because these guys have got a lot of talent so continuing on the messaging in their both projects in both projects is really impeccable when you listen to um to travel light especially the one track that stood out to me for the messaging was kintsugi kintsugi is basically a chai a japanese proverb as it says in a song that is imagine a, 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 a ceramic vase breaking and rather than you replacing it with another vase you rather take gold parts and fill the cracks so this practice um basically brought about a new vase that was even better looking than before and it brought about new patterns new ways of looking at and this perspective blew my mind not only was i educated by this perspective it's so applicable to my daily life like i don't have to discard my old playstation when it dies out seriously like it goes into more because when you listen to the song it goes into more of relationships just because it goes sour doesn't mean you just discard them and, and get rid of them you try and work on it you try and add new things into it you try and you try and bring look at the gold that that, that the person have rather than discard them away you work on the gold you highlight the gold and you will see that that friendship will become will blossom and even if you're going through a breakup you will have to look at the gold in that breakup that you know, and you have to look at the gold, and the gold here will be the lessons that you learn from that breakup that you, that you can apply to your next relationship. Anyone that's listening to this can relate to that track on so many levels, and best and foremost, it parallels Still Standing from um, from the, the the story so far. The reason why I say that is because in Still Standing, they have always said, Mama always told me to stay away from temptations, it's not worth it. Mother told me to keep on. And the temptation here would be to just leave a friendship, you know, just to leave all, be all behind, just leave the broken vase. It's not worth fixing. And when you really put these two and two together, it may not have been obvious at first, but you get it. But I do have a criticism of this album, even though they, they got a lot more features, which I was actually quite happy about. Also impressed by how they managed to retain their sound, how they managed to carry that over, like again, re um, without it negating the message, their style, their flow, they brought in a lot more of a new age sound to this new album. That didn't take away anything from it. It just shows their evolution in beats. Um, however, the, crit the criticism I will have is that 
I believe they were too safe on this album. When I say they were too safe, they tried a lot more ideas in the previous album. I think No Strings Attached would be the highlight of the previous album. It would be where Connie Con went ham. In that album, I think it was all about Connie Con. In this album, it's more about Daily. When you look at it in a different perspective of they're trying to now deliver the message, you can kind of see why they took a bit of a backseat and gave Danny the, the spotlight to pretty much sum up their previous album and to bring it full circle. Well, this is my theory anyway. If you're looking for the one track um, to really set the tone and really set what you are about, boy, Still Standing is the track to do it. But they didn't have that feat with this one. They, with this, it, like, like I said, it felt like more of a continuation from the story so far and that's exactly what it was. So they didn't, they were not able to replicate the hits that they made in those albums, but they were able to bring the album full circle. For the story I gave them, 7 out of 8. For example, the growth that they, from No Strings Attached for example, that was really Savage Con. But however, when you now bring it to the full, um, full circle, from Hood Man to Manhood, I was like, wow, they really brought in full circle because in that track, in that track, it, yes, it was a sex song, but it was more of love and it was more of um it was more of after we're done here i'm promising to be with you so you can see the evolution and the parallel between those strings attached and um from hood man to manhood so with this parallel you're like i can see like this album is more about the growth and the completion of the story that was already set in the story so far and to be honest when you combine both albums it makes sense I, um, the lyrical content in the album, I gave it a 5.7 out of 7. The issue is not with their content, their lyrical content and what they have to say. It's more of how they deliver it. That will improve over time. But what they have to say is they have a message to tell you. They have something to tell you. And they don't stray far from that message. The flow and the style that they use for our 5, both of them, it was exquisite. The album flowed immaculately. The style, they they done they experiment for a new artist they experimented they were very free to do what they want they whatever they had up here they were able to transfer it over for us to see and i love the style that they done it in you'll be like okay soul is boring i love the fact that they actually stuck to that continuing on rather than try and jump on a latest trend they could have jumped on trap they could have jumped on um they could have been they could have released a single that talks about sipping lean and doing all that. They could have just done Afro Swing, which is very big in the UK right now, but they didn't. They stuck to their message and they stuck to delivering that and that alone. That style, that flow, immaculate. Four out of five for me. Instrumentation, yeah, it, the less we talk about it, the better. I mean, they can, they're definitely gonna improve. That's not the issue. They're definitely gonna get better producers. I, 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 that's the only part of this album that I feel let them down. It was just the produce, the, the production here. Does that mean that, them, that it was a bad album? Hell no. An album can survive with not so good production. That's, that's, a, that, that's not even a, a threat. They were able to still convey their message. They're able to still evoke emotion. I personally feel, felt though that me being that harsh is because of the regression in um in the in, in the instrumentation in the newest album the in the previous work the instrumentation was on point i think they took a lot more care with how they selected their beats in that in the, in in that work i think they really really put a lot more thought into that however when they got to travel life i think they were just trying to be safe again like i said and they didn't really carry this forward so i gave a 3.7 out of 5 for the instrumentation I think the biggest proof of what I'm saying is when you listen to from Hood Man to um, Hood Man to Manhood. If you compare the instrumentation in both Hood Man to Manhood and No Strings Attached, you can see how different it is. Like you really understand that this guy doesn't want, he doesn't care, he doesn't give a damn. That if he wants to get a girl right now, he could, and it pretty much puts you in the mood. But with Hood Man to Manhood, it's more. The sampling was really off. I didn't really connect with the song as I should have. There was nothing wrong with the overall idea that they're going for, like in terms of style, but the sampling was, it was off to me. It, it took away, it, it, it didn't really put me in a mood as I should have. 
it did but at the same time it did it didn't negate from the message so no harm no foul overall i gave these guys a 20.4 i don't knock this album it's just it's just my rate it's just my opinion like they got a lot of work not a lot i'm actually being too harsh when i say a lot of work to do I, like they have a lot bright future here this syndrome has to stop like the way that everyone judges work of art nowadays about if you don't have enough clap followers we're not gonna listen to you or whatever that has to stop they, guys like this they deserve to be they deserve to be looked at they deserve to be heard really because they've got a brilliant work and they are they have but no one is getting behind them because they're not they, are, they, they don't have the the clout as they will put it like their videos are not even amassing 300,000 views so like every, everyone's gonna be thinking why would I look at but when you think when you really think about it why would you not look at them this is the message going for the it's not for the masses this is just for people that are in, in positions to actually elevate an artist they are they are caught like following i mean for me to f stumble upon a video that has sixteen thousand views they have 38 comments no dislikes 1000 likes if we're if we are going to be numbers here if we if we're gonna just say numbers and bring that into light that's a stat that's a phenomenal stat for an undiscovered artist that are not really well known. I would be looking and sign, trying to sign them up and push them out to the to the to the to the, to the mainstream. But no, their sound is also different. So now you're left with people thinking, okay, what's the mainstream sound that people like? You're looking at the views that people like the most. People obviously listen to trap and for swing now. So that's the sound that's in. This hinders their progress too much too much it enders them too much because that is their true sound that is what they want to be known for that is what they're passionate about and they go ham in it it's not like they're bad they go ham in it so when you're looking at a film like that why won't you want to get behind them and me personally go out and listen to the don't even take my ratings for it literally just go out and listen to the album travel light and the story so far start with the story so far travel light then reverse engineer you will see exactly what i'm trying to say if you like our videos make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit that bell for, for, for notifications see you on the next video bye